of Wandu in Kebbi State on Thursday. According to a statement from the Office of the Vice President, some of the schemes put in place towards their objective include the Government Empowerment Program, uh, which has the Trader Money and Market Money Scheme. Professor Shibato says, quote, the President's desire for the program is that every hard-working citizen should be able to have some support from the government, no matter how little their, their inventory, end of quote. The Vice President is confident that the objective will be achieved but it can only be done with the able support of the state government. Nigerian Air Force planes have destroyed the training camp for Islamic State of West Africa province terrorists near Malam Fatari on the fringes of Lake Chad in northern Burundi state. A statement from Air Force spokesman Air Commander Bikuli Daramola, intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance mission had identified the building on one of the Lake Chad Islands being used as a facility to indoctrinate and train new fighters. It says the aircraft dispatched by the Air Task Force of Operation Lafia donated to the location observed significant activity of the terrorists in the area. The fighter plane bombarded the building, completely destroying it and neutralizing the ISO of occupants. Other fighters seen fleeing the location were later mocked up in follow-up attacks. Meanwhile, nine soldiers have been killed in a gun battle with Boko Haram insurgents at Kudum Bali town in Borno State. The slain soldiers and 20 others said to be missing are members of the Operation Lafia Dole in the theater of war. They were reportedly ambushed by the militants in a village called Granda and engaged them overnight from Monday to the early hours of Tuesday. Sources say some of the soldiers later fled, leading to the overrunning of the military base, during which nine soldiers fell in battle seven of whom were slaughtered as the insurgents beat a retreat. A few tanker and other vehicles of different brands were reportedly carted away by the insurgents. It's not clear if some of the missing soldiers were abducted as implied as only the outcome of a search party and a headcount would determine that. The bodies of those killed have been evacuated and deposited at the military hospital in Maiduguri. Staying with security issues, now the governors of 19 northern states have adopted the federal government's National Livestock Transformation Plan in order to end the clashes between farmers and herders. At a meeting in Kajuna State on Thursday, the northern governors also agreed to a resolution which is to implement the entire roadmap of the plan in all member states. The northern governors say they are not unaware of the security situation in the region, particularly in the north. <laughs> The increasing clashes between farmers and herders have recently become worrisome, especially in wetland areas of the Middle Belt, North Central and Southern parts of the country. Such violent conflict between the two parties who are prominent in the country's agricultural sector have escalated in recent times and are spreading southward, thereby threatening the nation's security and stability. <laughs> On Tuesday, September the 10th, the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, inaugurated the National Livestock Transformation Plan at the Golgoshi Grazing Reserve in Mayo Belwa local government area of Adamawa State. The federal government believes that the plan, which is to be implemented in seven pilot states of Adamawa, Benue, Kaduna, Plateau, Nasarawa, Taraba, and Zamfara, will develop Nigeria's livestock sector and also help to reduce the incessant conflict between herders and farmers. The executive chairman of the FIRS, Mr. Babatunde Fowler, sees a jump to around 45 million this year following the success of the tax amnesty program. There are a lot of little businesses that um, may charge VAT are not remitted or may not even be charging VAT. And um, we are focusing, first of all, on the, the bigger, larger businesses, um, especially when you look at a situation whereby the economy has just come out of a recession. We want to make sure that we do not burden the small business um, owners. And a lot of people do not keep accurate books or do not even keep financials because the issue of taxation was not really on the front burner, if I can put it that way, for a very long time. So now people are engaging um, accountants, trying to uh, put their finances in order. 
and then try to see how much taxes they should pay based on the businesses that they have done. Personally, um, I believe that uh, Nigeria should review the VAT rates, maybe to 7.5 percent. I've often said it, and that will still remain one of the lowest um, in Africa. Um, our neighbours close by in Ghana, South Africa, across Africa, have an average of at least 15 percent when it comes to VAT. The government of uh, foreseen West African countries have approved cost-reflective tariffs for power utilities in the sub-region, as well as subsidies to support low-income power users. The approval came under West Africa Power Pool, which is a specialized agency of the economic community of West African states, and it covers 14 out of the 15 countries of the regional economic community. The chairman of the group, who is the managing director of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, Mr. Usman Mohammed, explains that WAP is working towards operating a single reliable network for member states, including Nigeria, to receive and share electrical power. My ultimate desire as the chairman of WAP is to see a successful and sustained synchronized uh, synchronization, a key component of business electricity market roadmap. This is very, very important because we still have places in West Africa, for example, if you look at places like Sierra uh, Leone and Liberia, um, the cost of energy in those places are really unbearable. If we can synchronize and connect those places, as we already have lines that are being built to connect those places, uh, we can significantly reduce the cost of energy in those places. If we synchronize the power, the, 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 the network, all of us will what? Will benefit. Because definitely, we will have not only a free flow of energy, but we will also have an economic free flow of energy, where we will be able to reduce the cost of generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity across West Africa. market extended losses from last week and with continued risk of sentiment and the absence of positive market catalysts, the all share index ended the week down 1.38% despite opening the week in the green. Traders attribute the loss to negative outturns from midweek following a sell-off of some bellwethers like Danwithy Cement, MTN Nigeria, Nestle and GT Bank, which dragged the overall index. The consumer goods and oil and gas sectors were the sole losers, while the insurance, industrial goods and banking indices recorded gains. Analysts expect the market to remain pressured next week due to global risk of sentiment and weak domestic participation. And outside Nigeria, U.S. companies invested $6.8 billion into China in the first half of 2019, and that's despite the worsening trade war between both countries. This represents a 1.5% increase from the average during the same period over the past two years. Data from New York-based consultancy group, Rhodium Group, says shows a larger part of the investment went into greenfield projects such as electric vehicle maker Texas Factory in Shanghai, as well as a U.S. fund Bain Capital's $570 million investment in data center provider Beijing Quinhai. The Rhodium Group figures differ from official data from China's Ministry of Commerce, which estimated that U.S. FDI fell 15% in the first half of this year, and that's down from $1.9 billion a year earlier. And that's it on Business News. It's back to Gimba. This evening, thanks indeed. The Borno state government wants the Northeast Development Initiative to look beyond the immediate needs of the internally displaced persons and consider durable and sustainable projects. Governor Babagana Umara Zulu told the management of the NEDC that road construction is key to smooth military operations and recovery. <laughs> The law establishing the Northeast Development Commission was signed by President Mohamedou Buhari in October 2017 to drive the reconstruction and development of conflict-ravaged areas in the Northeast. 